Manitoba-born Zach Whitecloud has accepted an apology from a U.S. sportscaster for a slur that mocked his First Nations heritage. Whitecloud plays for the Las Vegas Golden Knights and is a member of the Sioux Valley Dakota Nation. White Cloud scored in his team's 5-1 win over the Edmonton Oilers this week. That caught the attention of ESPN host John Anderson, who joked his last name sounded like a brand of toilet paper. After intense backlash, Anderson apologized, and White Cloud arranged to meet with him. White Cloud addressed the controversy yesterday in a scrum with reporters that was posted to the Golden Knights website. Start by saying I had a conversation with John this morning um, at the rink here. Uh, he offered um, his apology um, and explained uh, his his uh, side of, of uh, obviously what occurred last night. Um, it was uh, obviously I think an uh, attempt at um, humor that. Uh, came out as being obviously insensitive um, and he acknowledges that he understands that you know it was wrong to say um, and uh, again I, I wanted to uh, make sure that he knew that you know I accepted his apology and, and uh, people make mistakes um, and this is a scenario where uh, not not just um, you know John, but I think every, everyone can learn from uh, and and move forward um, in a positive direction uh, and obviously try and try and be better for. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm proud of my culture. I'm proud of of where I come from, where I was raised, um, who I was raised by. Uh, I carry my grandfather's last name, and I'm nothing makes me more proud than to. To be able to do that, uh, so, and I was raised, in our culture, we're raised to, to be the first ones to reach out uh, and offer our help. Uh, so that's why I reached out to John this morning and um, wanted to make sure that uh, he understood that uh, that I understood that people make mistakes and and. Uh, he acknowledges that he's willing. He's moving forward, trying to move forward in the right direction and, and be better from it. Um, and I think, obviously, it's something that we can all learn from and, and move forward uh, again in, in, in the right direction. And, and uh, uh, the biggest thing out of all of it, I think, is, is I, I'm incredibly proud of my culture and and, and uh, where I was raised, how I was raised. Um, and uh, again, I, I, I accepted John's apology, and I think that's that's what uh, I want everyone to know is that you know we um, we're we're gonna try and learn from it, right, and, and uh, um, move forward in the right direction. And obviously, it, uh, um, yeah, I think that, that's it from my side. Zach, I can see you're you're very uh, seems like you're, you're emotional about it. And obviously, you're very proud of where you come from. Is this almost a, a, a situation where you can almost turn it into a positive, where you can use it to educate and, and let people know about like where you come from, your culture, and, and um, you know just how proud you are of um, who you are. Absolutely, it's obviously I I, I don't want to be in front of you, all of you guys talking about this and. Um, but with that comes an opportunity to allow not just John and, and myself, but everyone to learn from this incident, to to move forward and, and make sure that these things don't don't happen again. Um, and, and I just want to make that point clear too. John, John recognizes that, and he um, obviously was, I believe he was sincere in his apology and. Um, I just wanted to reiterate to him that I was going to be the first person to reach out my hand and offer, uh, just to offer help. Because uh, people make mistakes, right? And, and uh, it's just a time for everyone to learn. 
That's Manitoba's Zach Whitecloud speaking with reporters yesterday. The Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs wants ESPN and the NHL to do more to combat racism in hockey.